In the diagram below, PS is parallel to QT. In the diagram below, PS is parallel to QT. They tell us that angle S is 3X minus 40 and angle QRS is 2X plus 10. They say calculate the value of angle S. Okay, so the, it's quite an easy question. We know that these two lines are parallel. So we know that this forms a U. Remember, with parallel lines, you get the F, there's the U, and there's the N. Corresponding, co-interior, alternating. As long as the lines are parallel. So those lines are parallel, those lines are parallel, and those lines are parallel. So here we have the U, co-interior. Now with co-interior angles, they are not the same, but they add up to 180. So we could say that angle S plus angle R, or let's call it QRS instead, because if you just say angle R, they don't know if you're talking about this or this. So we say QRS, which means QRS, okay? Uh, that should equal to 180. Why? Because these are co-interior um, angles, and the reason is, is that PS is parallel to QT. And so you could say that 3X minus 40 plus 2X plus 10 equals 180. And now you're just going to solve for X. So you could say 5X because that's what 3X plus 2X is. And then you're going to take the numbers to the other side. So it'll become 180 plus 40 minus 10. And so that's going to be 5X is equal to 210 degrees. And then if you divide both sides by 5, we would find out that X will be 42. Now, that's not the answer. They said calculate the angle S. So angle S is this one over here. So you're now going to say 3 times 42 minus 40, and that'll be 86 degrees. 86 degrees.